Set that record, Dwight. He went out in the first 200 meters in 20.9 seconds. Very few guys ever get under two, 21 seconds. It was the seventh fastest performer of all time in the 400 meters. As you're looking there, also at Akeem Bloomfield, who will be outside of Fred Curley. Curley in four, Bloomfield in five. Watch for Nathan Allen, the freshman from Auburn. Two freshmen for Ralph Spry's Auburn team. Bit of a hold in the blocks. It is cold out there and a bit breezy. And watch Fred Curley. It almost sometimes doesn't even look like he's trying to run. Allen has a, maybe a half a step on him. And the white on the outside, the two outside athletes are Auburn. And the white inside beside them is Fred Curley. This is where Curley usually makes the move. Curley in the middle of the track in lane four. Bloomfield just to the outside of him, but Nathan Allen really pushing things. Now comes Curley, just shifted gears about 30 meters before the straightaway. Fred Curley, the collegiate record holder, the world leader, is going to win the title. And 10 points for Texas A&M. Nathan Allen trying to hang on for second. Michael Cherry of LSU gets third. 44-10 for Fred Curley. That's the fourth fastest in collegiate history. He has three of the four times. You know, he ran his heat the same way in several other races. He didn't go out hard, and he brings it home strongly. With 100 meters to go, he's even with freshman Nathan Allen, who has just been a star in high school in Jamaica, and they're even. And look at the power and the strength. For him, he was holding back. His best time for a 200 meters ever, 20.27 seconds indoors. Maybe he can go a little faster, but he was well within himself, and he had plenty left in this race. Excellent time under cool conditions.